All right, we are doing a rear fit out in 79 today. We've just been down to Bunnings, grabbed a couple of sheets of MDF, grabbed some, a roll of carpet, got three meters of that, grabbed some little aluminium tracking, some baskets. Hopefully we've got enough stuff. We can start making a bit of a fit out. We're about to hit the Cape in a couple of weeks, so decided that it'd be nice to have a storage area where we could have our clothes, towels, bits and pieces and stuff like that. Uh, put all the camera gear, the drones, that kind of thing, and have it neat and organized. So remove the back seats to the 79. I'll grab a tape measure, we'll start measuring some stuff up. See what we do. How are we doing? Yeah, good. Got the floor in. Uh, test fit number one. Through the uh, through the floor in. I've trimmed it around the jack, trimmed it around the sub. I'm just going to do uh, some trimming along the edges for the speaker pods and that when we shut the door. Trim that out. Trim around the console. Throw it back in. Make sure the door shut. Yeah, pretty good. I've got a pile of Lego, Meccano, PDP, 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 I've been making up this as I go. Blueprints are kind of in my brain. Cut up a couple of uh, end panels. Got to rip up a few more bits and pieces. Then we'll do a mock up on the floor, test fit. Hopefully we get clearance for the jack. I can get the jack in and out. A little mount for the, uh, for the fridge, so. Hopefully I can wrap this up today, get the structure done, and then maybe next weekend, pull the carpet on, get it all sorted out, finish it off. All right, number one test fit. We've tried it in. Fitch, fridge, fridge, fits pretty good. Um, nice and wedged in there, so got like the double baskets each side. Rip it back out, put the slides on, and uh, mm, work some more stuff out. Looking good so far. Take two. Hey, that is perfect. 
that's our little tidy hole for our cameras. I'll just put a panel in in front of the fridge there, but yeah. Works well, chairs go all the way back, we can recline. Perfect fit in between them. Nice Beautiful. work. All right, let's finish it up, get carpeting. On the microphone. Yeah, I can see now. Look at my check. Alrighty, guys, we are done for the day. It is Sunday, Arvo. I'm giving up, but we're pretty close. I've got most of this complete. Got the drawers in each side, little baskets in, top of the floor on, the fridge is mounted in there, so fridge freezer, ice cold beers, little camera area up the front. I've uh, got to do a few more cutouts, bits and pieces. I'll blow the whole thing apart, get some glue on it, screw it all back together, paint it up, cover it in carpet, make it look pretty, and then show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys. The rear seat setup is finished. Close to finished, we've got one more piece here, but it's good enough to show this video. Bushman console fridge freezer. Now this thing is great for beers, but we are gonna use it as a freezer for the Cape. We've got two weeks, so we've cryovacked a bunch of steaks and mints and stuff like that. We'll run this as a freezer as it's quite small. We'll run the Bushman 130 uh, for everything else that we, we need. It's all carpeted, it's finished, We've got the false floor in, the false floor is going to stay, the drawer system area is going to be removable for future trips if we, we don't want it all. Um, there's two baskets in each side, these are from Bunnings, they're just cheapo baskets, the top one slides in and out, the bottom one's fixed, it's got, well they both have like esky loop, stretchy hockey strap thingies, um, about five bucks each from Bunnings, so uh, we, we use those to mount it. They work really well. Grab some cool handles um, as well to throw on them to match the car. Did some cool cutouts, I like that too. They look cool, the whole system looks good. And we have this little charging station in the front here. So this is for Mr. Droney and his GoPro friends. Um, we have two fast chargers in the bottom of that, USB and USB-Cs. I've thrown those in. Got drone batteries that just pull out on command charge all the time uh, I do have a couple other brackets which I'm throwing in but uh, still got to make a few others at work this one's for drone it's gonna sit about there or so uh, drone will sit in that carpet will protect it and then the remote will be a larger version of that against the rear wall that'll allow us to just have the camera the GoPros velcro to the side whatever we need uh, and then just grab the drone out the camera the, the GoPros, the remote, whatever we need. Uh, batteries are on charge at all times. So um, pretty cool little charging dock, I guess, for our electrical accessories. You just throw your phone in there, whatever else you need to uh, on the go. Now that's running full time, so you don't actually need the car on to charge it. So that's gonna be super handy for this Cape trip. So stick along with us and see what we have in store. So as for costings for the rear seat area on the 79, we already had the fridge, I already had the electrical components, the cable and the USB chargers, that kind of thing. Uh, it was about 500 bucks for carpet, the, the MDF, the baskets, these little elastic thingies. Um, yeah, it didn't cost that much, so definitely worth doing. What do you guys think? If it helped you out, let us know in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching Life of the Chromies.